Hello gamers from around the world, this is Archimedes, the video game enthusiast from Germany with a tech-focused video on some new information regarding direct machine learning for the Xbox Series consoles. Over the last year we had a lot of discussion about the RDNA 2 feature set, meaning of course the feature set and architecture of the GPU for the current generation of consoles. And we have talked on this channel a lot about some of the features like VRS, sampler feedback streaming, ray tracing and so on. But there's one particular thing of the RDNA 2 architecture that we haven't got really much information about and that is the implementation from AMD of machine learning called Direct ML. We know that the Xbox Series consoles do have dedicated silicon built inside to support machine learning but we are not really sure if the technology is also in the PlayStation 5 and that's why I will focus in this video on the Xbox Series consoles. And in a recent interview with Scott Herkelman, General Manager at AMD, we have learned a little bit more about the implementation of AMD's super resolution technique and when developers might be able able to make use of this promising technology, including DirectML, which by the way is AMD's version of DLSS from Nvidia, in case you are familiar with that. So there is a lot to discuss in this video. When can we expect direct machine learning to arrive on the Xbox Series consoles? What is it actually? And what might the future bring with this technology? But before we go through all of that, I want to ask you for a favor. If you watch this video and end up enjoying yourself, then please consider to hit the like and subscribe button and maybe even turn on the notification bell to not miss out on future content. This doesn't cost you anything but it helps my channel more than you think and I would really appreciate your support. But now let's have a look into Direct ML on the Xbox Series consoles. Even though we are very early in the current generation we have already seen at least some implementations of the RDNA 2 feature set. Of course none of the games out there today are already using the architecture of the Series consoles to its full potential, not even close. But we've seen at least some games with ray tracing, admittedly not fully utilized to its full capabilities, but it has been there. We have seen examples of VRS, variable rate shading, and some applications of it, and other features of RDNA 2, but we have not heard or seen direct machine learning in action, even though the hardware is in our hands. So AMD had to say the following about the development of their upscaling technology called Fidelity FX Super Resolution. It's progressing very well internally in our lab, but it's our commitment to the gaming community that needs to work across all things, and game developers need to adopt it. We still have more work to do and not only internally but with our game developer partners. We want to launch it this year but we need to make sure the image quality is there. So the development process is going well, but just like with the delays we have seen in game development over the last year, they simply need a little bit more time to get this done right. And by the way, the well-known insider Linus from Linus Tech Tips has heard from his sources that we have not seen direct machine learning on the consoles yet because AMD wants to make sure to launch it across all RDNA 2 GPUs simultaneously, which makes totally sense considering that this generation of consoles is not just about console devices. It's more more about building an ecosystem consisting of PC, consoles and xCloud. So why is this worth making a video about? Well, for once the question was always out there, when do we get to see the capabilities of AMD's AI technology, which is more or less direct competition to Nvidia's solution DLSS, which is already out there and gives Nvidia at the moment quite an advantage in games that support it. And second of all, I want to bring up the potential that lies within the technology. So let's have a look at what direct machine learning actually is and what we can expect in future games that will use it and why we all should be excited for direct ML on consoles. As I mentioned earlier, direct machine learning is a technology where an AI is used to enhance the image quality of our games. So if an image is rendered at a lower resolution than your output resolution, which is on TVs usually either 1080p or 4K, checkerboarding was applied to increase the resolution and the result was that usually we had either blurry images or you could see some artifacts effects coming from the uprest process. Nvidia introduced on their graphic cards a few years ago a technique called deep learning super sampling. It was the first time that the GPU had dedicated silicon called tensor cores to use an AI to improve low resolution textures and render outputs. But DLSS in its first applications was criticized a little bit because it would give out blur. 
blurry images, but with the latest version of NVIDIA cards they introduced DLSS 2.0 and with that iteration of the technology some really impressive results were achieved. Games can now be rendered at a lower resolution and then the AI based technology increases the output resolution giving a super sharp image that can be barely distinguished from a natively rendered image. The freed up resources can then be used to enhance for instance the frame rates significantly and direct machine learning is now the version of this AI technology from AMD. AMD did not just solely develop the technology on their own, they worked closely together with Microsoft and the DirectX 12 team to implement this technology so that developers can directly use the DirectX 12 API. That's by the way the reason why you don't really need dedicated silicon on your chip to actually use it but of course the advantage is there if you have a support on a hardware level. AMD had to say the following about this. You don't need machine learning to do it. You can do this many different ways and we are evaluating many different ways. What matters the most to us is what game developers want to use. And the advantage of an upscaling method that works without dedicated silicon is obvious. This way developers have immediately a ton of potential applications slash devices that they can develop for. But as I've mentioned earlier, it is unclear to which degree the PlayStation 5 can use direct machine learning because, well, Sony does not use DirectX 12. For the Xbox though, there are a ton of possible applications because their GPU supports machine learning on a hardware level. One is of course the previously mentioned increase of image quality for games that do not render at high resolutions like 4K. AMD has not given us a lot of demonstrations of their AI based image enhancement. That's why you see a lot of DLSS footage in this video. But there was given one good example why AI improved uppressing is so much better than the usual checkerboarding. In this image here you can see one image that got enhanced with classic checkerboarding on the right side and on the left side you can see the same image that got enhanced with direct machine learning. Both images are zoomed in four times to really showcase the difference. So as you can see there's quite a difference in between the two different image enhancement methods and when we look at DLSS 2.0 it is really hard to tell the difference in between a natively rendered image and an enhanced image via DLSS. And it'll be interesting to see how good AMD's version of that upscaling method will be. Now this is not just interesting for older games that have a lower resolution render output. This is also very interesting for new games because games don't always have to be rendered at 4K which takes up a lot of resources. Especially when you combine the rendering output of future games with other amazing graphic technologies like ray tracing. Cause as we all know ray tracing is very expensive on the hardware side and almost all games that we have seen so far do not run at 4K with ray tracing and 60 FPS. Usually we get the option to choose in between a performance mode and a graphics mode but with these kind of technologies like an AI based uppressing developers can use ray tracing, decrease the render output and enhance the image quality via machine learning which can give us ray tracing at high frame rates while maintaining that sharp image that we love from high resolution outputs. Now this is only one application of direct machine learning. There are other applications such as of course the improvement of the AI of NPCs or more lifelike animations but I do want to focus in this video on the improved visual quality. AMD is calling the entire feature set AMD Fidelity FX which consists of all the technologies that can be used in combination with DirectX 12 Ultimate. We've already talked about the AI based super resolution but another application of direct machine learning is the so called denoising. Again AMD has only given a little demonstration of their technology but this image here shows really good what denoising can do to enhance the image quality. As you can see if you render an image with less pixels or for instance in combination with ray tracing with less light rays you get a noisy image. Some games even try to simulate that and call that film crane which by the way you should always turn off if given the option. And this is just another great example of what direct machine learning can do to enhance your image quality. Again by doing so freeing up computational resources for other things like maintaining higher frame rates. But with that I want to come to an end of this video. I do hope it came across what the possibilities with direct ML will be in this new generation. I also do hope that AMD will release direct ML really soon to their graphic card sets and of course the Xbox series consoles. This technology will give developers so many new options to give us those high frame rates that we have all come to love when we play with our new consoles in combination with some great graphical effects like better lighting via ray tracing by allowing games to render in lower resolutions without sacrificing image quality. Since Nvidia has their technology already out there I bet that it's only a matter of time before AMD will show the capabilities of their version of the AI based image 
storage enhancements, because the hardware is already out there. And again, coming from a trusted source, it looks like they will roll out that technology not only just for PC graphic cards, but simultaneously for the consoles as well. So exciting times ahead, my friends, and I bet that we will see in a year or two some really amazing graphics and games that we can now only speculate about. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did so, please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell and consider sharing this out to other gamers. I would greatly appreciate it. And let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of DirectML? Are you excited for the possibilities of the technology? And besides here on YouTube, you can also hit me up on Twitter where I share a lot of opinions and gaming discussions. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I see you the next time and game on.